right, today we're gonna to be doing a walk around and test drive video on the iconic 1970 Chevelle convertible. 396, four speed, red, black stripes, drop top. Um, just an all around awesome driving, ready to go turnkey car. Yeah, I'm gonna use your famous slogan on our videos. This is my favorite muscle car at Coyote Classics right now. Um, it's my favorite in so much that I thought about maybe even keeping this one personally. 1970 Chevelle convertible, all the SS equipment on it. As far as we can tell, it's an SS, but we just can't tell without a build sheet. Uh, brand new tires, BFGs, 14 inch. Um, we went ahead and did the uh, 225 70s all the way around. It really has an awesome stance on it. Just a great car, you guys. This is a, I would classify this as a beautiful local car show quality car, not a trailer queen, but a cool car that you can jump in and drive. You don't get them to sound much better than that. Um, power steering, power disc brakes, really nice set of headers on it. Um, bottom of the hood's all been painted in the semi-gloss black. Same thing with the uh, firewall and inner fenders. So really good car, guys. As we go here to the uh, top of the fender and the top of the hood here, lines up really nicely. Um, as far as our gap goes, really decent gap, just a little bit wider in the front than in the back, but not bad at all over here. Same thing here, top of the fender matches up nice to the top of the hood. Um, we got two little paint chips right here by the front, and that's a problem with these things is they'll chip the paint just a little bit sometimes. Other than that, the hood looks beautiful. Throw them back, I'll give her smart PM and then we'll shut her off so you can hear it. Got a great sound and dual exhaust. Beautiful chrome tips back here. Man, I love this car. I do too. We spent quite a bit of time on this car. We went ahead and put a brand new dash and everything in it, new tires, just went through the whole thing and uh, new shocks in the back, just went through it and just made it to where I would want it and drive it, ready to go. As we look up and down the sides, it does have a very straight body. It's all uh, paint's been buffed to a really nice shine. Front bumper's in excellent condition. Grill's really nice as well. Oh, this looks like it's been replaced uh, not too long ago. The previous owner that I bought it from had it about eight years. Um, he's building a, uh, another 70 Chevelle Super Sport, making it into resto mod, and this was his driver, and he's just about done with the other one, so it's time to sell this one. On back of the hood, actually it doesn't stick up. It sits down just a little bit right here, but uh, as far as our gap goes from top to bottom on the fender is excellent. Lower fender, rocker, door, everything along the bottom here is in excellent shape. Doors tucked in there nice. I did replace the door handles as well, Dalton. They had, uh, they were just pitted up a little bit. They were still the originals, so we did replace those. It's got the rear antenna. Um, back bumper was replaced at some point. They also have obviously the uh, SS pad back there. The correct uh, tipped exhaust looks great. Behind the rear quarter panel is fantastic. Couple little rock chips just from driving, but no rust, no issues, no cracks, no chips. Paint's really nice on this car. Yeah, it is. As we open the door jam, we have a little buffing compound from us buffing right here. It'll come right off. Other than that, that all looks good. Um, carpet's been replaced. It's got the correct bucket seats. It's got the her shifter. The jam paint, just like a lot of these cars, Dalton, they don't, you know, it's not quite as nice as the outside paint, but a uh, very solid car. Um, the dash is all brand new. Steering wheel's nice. Horn works, factory tack. So we replaced this whole piece down here. The dash pad's in excellent shape. Rear view mirror we replaced as well. That's new. But I just love the Hurst shifter. Carpet's new. Um, kick panels are in great shape, as long as with the handles as well. They look like they're relatively new as well. 
going to put the top up. So everyone's going to want to keep Yeah, go ahead. Up. Yeah. We'll put it up. You don't have to latch it and stuff, and we'll put it back down. While he's, while he's doing that, guys, we're going to go ahead here and um, check out the back. Gap's good. That top's nice too. Very nice top. Beautiful. Plastic back window. Yeah, you can go ahead and just latch one side D so everyone knows it fits good. There. It's all latched up nice. Um, in here, uh, the pads and stuff are in good shape. The rubbers are okay. They haven't been replaced recently, but they're all in decent shape. We have a little crack right here in this one, but all in all, nice top. Um, back quarter panel is in excellent shape as well. You know, I don't see anything for major chips or anything here at all. It's great shape. Um, in front of the rear quarter is perfect. Bottom corner of the door is excellent right here. As we go underneath the door, that all looks good as well. It's got the correct GM uh, and uh, manufactured motor company information there as well. Rubbers have all been replaced. Felts are good. Hood lines up really nice to the top of the fender, top of the fender to the door. Gaps are really good, bottom of the fender. So many paint jobs, eight, nine years old. Dalton will have a little bubble or so just from age. I haven't seen nothing on this car. And I know it was painted before the previous owner bought it. Um, door panels are in excellent shape. Um, chrome around the seats, that all looks new. I think we replaced all that as well when we did it. How about a tilt wheel in a 70 Chevelle convertible? That's awful nice. It is in factory tack. Factory tack, power top, all the gauges, everything looks nice and clear. The lens here is perfect still. Heater fan yep. works. I said I shut it off to make sure. So it's nice when Brand goes through this. Mm -hmm. When he pulls the dash, he yeah. gets everything working. Everything. So after if there's any wiring or anything that needed to be done. I think this is the one that had a new wiring harness. Um, one of those two Chevelles, I think this one did have one time. We got a radio, we got the factory speaker up here. It sounds awesome, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. A factory tack works, wipers work, we're gonna check the horn out, temp gauge works, gas gauge, amp gauge. Um, no oil pressure gauge, guys, that is a light, it must be right here. Uh, it does have a little aftermarket oh, gauge good. down here, though. 60 pounds, how about that in an idle? Pretty awesome. So every single thing works on this car. We did that's, put in a new cigarette lighter that will charge your phone. Yep. I mean, that's just what we did. We spent a lot of time on the last couple of Chevelles, tore all the dashes out, put all new dashes. Makes them. a big difference. And this had the SS dash, it's just the bezels weren't crystal clear. You know, this chrome around here gets over time, the yep. original one gets uh, looking like crap. So we went ahead and changed that out and really made this a nice car. It is. But it's not a hundred thousand dollar car, you know. It's something that you can drive and enjoy, and, and not be scared to. Kind of looks like it, though. I mean, no yeah, it does. Blister. Holy! Holy! Shit, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not We're kidding. gonna cancel this, this video. Car. Uh, car's no longer for sale. Damn! This is awesome. That's awesome. awesome. I, did, I wasn't. Ex well, I guess I should have been. It's a big block, but wasn't quite expecting that. What's the word for that, Dean? Uh, props. We'll just say oh, props. Right, Chad's too bit. excited to talk. When we right go now. through this stuff, guys. We make sure that the steering wheels are straight. Like I said, everything has been redone as far as the dash. We want these things looking at their best, running their best. Yeah, Brand did a fantastic job on the tune up of this thing. Uh, wicked. Awesome awesome hey, the only thing I did notice a little bit, we're going a little faster than 35. That's yeah, sure. so at some time it might need a new speedometer head, guys, or we gotta check the cable. It's not balancing, but it's not it's not accurate. So. I always like when they're off a little bit because it makes a good excuse for when you get pulled over. 
just gotta, just one sec. I just gotta, we'll check our brakes out here in a minute, all right? Brakes are in awesome shape. I mean, you can stop this thing on a dime. Yeah. Plus it gives me an excuse to take off again. And they are new, new tires, so they will have still quite a bit of tread left on them, even after this video. Yeah, brand new tires. All right guys, man, check this car out. $70,000, 1970 Chevelle convertible. Absolutely no disappointments if you're looking for a fast, fun, turnkey driver, guys. All right, check it out, coyoteclassics.com. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.